Welcome back to Wild Biz Weekly. I'm Lynn Hinderocker, and we are putting together the most incredible business news magazine podcast. I so appreciate you watching. We're bringing special guests to you. If you want to know what the pace and the unfolding, the excitement of the business scene here at Omaha, Nebraska, this is the show. You can actually forward this video that you're watching right now to anybody who, uh, who has an email address that you know. Say, hey, you got to check out this video, and in particular, this incredible interview that's coming up right now. Anyway, I'm happy to introduce you to a couple of great entrepreneurs. You know, we've been talking. Steve Jordan from the World Herald last uh, last week we did a show and he said, you know, Omaha has changed. Mike Dare from Omaha State Bank. Everything is happening right here in Omaha. There's an entrepreneurial flavor in this city. And so, you notice how I use the word flavor? Huh? That came out unconsciously. That was so great. So anyway, these two young ladies have a business in the Dundee area here in Omaha called E Creamery. It's a fabulous, very popular little place and they had the courage to go on national TV in the Shark Tank Venture Capital Show. It's a fat, you know, millions of people watch the show and they did a fabulous job. So I want you to please uh, 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 say hello to Abby Jordan and Becky App from E Creamery. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Sure. Look at this incredible branding, everybody. This is outstanding. This is E Creamery. And, and you know, that was a rare experience, right, Abby? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me, you know, we're, we're, a lot of us are involved in venture capital or we want to be able to attract the influence and supporters and so on. You had aspirations. Uh, tell me, what was the most interesting or the most important thing that you learned uh, standing there when you're pitching these uh, national figures in, in, in business capitalization? What I learned most significantly was that success doesn't always arrive in the packaging you may expect. <laughs> when we thought going on Shark Tank maybe the win was going to be making a deal with one of those successful yes. venture capitalists, but yes. what we walked away learning after that very trying experience <laughs> was Was it that stressful? They, they made it very stressful. Yes. They are They're hardcore. They are geniuses at reality TV. So they yeah. really knew what emotional buttons to press. But that was a risk we were willing to take for the exposure of 6.5 million people to view our of local Omaha product. All so right. we, were, we were willing to take that risk. So tell us more about the success that came in a different package. We thought traditionally that success would have been making a deal with one of these sharks yes. and asking for the $250,000 we had asked for, for 33% yes. equity in our company. However, what we learned for was the biggest success we could have gotten was not making that deal. Hmm. We got the exposure of nearly 7 million people to our Omaha homegrown company yes. without having to give up any piece of equity in our company whatsoever. So now the orders are still rolling in and yes. we are still the, the original shareholders that we've always been. So, so the publicity alone offset the, the, the I don't want to say failure, but the inability to actually get what you thought you were getting. Just just the publicity and the branding was a tremendous upkick. Absolutely. Right? And having the conversation with the Sharks for about an hour, I've never seen an entrepreneur go on that show and get the better end of a deal. Yeah. So I think I think it really worked out for the best situation that it could have been. Yeah, they're tough cookies. Right. We work with Mark Haysbrook at Dundee Venture Capital here, actually in the same building, in yes. Mastercraft building. And that's the best investor we could ask for. And also the Sharks recommended in the show, you don't need another investor, you need a loan. You have a very credible, solid business, get a loan from a bank. So we went to a Creighton business graduate, All right. Jeff Royal at Dundee Bank, and he did give us the loan we needed. So in the end, everything worked out as it should. Outstanding, Abby Jordan. Now, Becky, I'm gonna ask you the same question because I think this is a wonderful insight for us. What did you learn as you went through this very unusual and exciting experience? I would say that I, I learned some of the same lessons as Becky as far as um, you know the promotion just the show the show gave us was really the win in the end and then coming back home and just seeing the overwhelming support from the Omaha community with all sorts of different businesses in Omaha reaching out to us people we were with, proud of you yeah, yeah you know I mean yeah. we, we, we all can uh, uh, empathize with that, that experience right right and but I'm not quite sure that all entrepreneurs feel that sense of community and, and, and that um, just different business owners reaching out to us with, we have cold storage or, you know, we, we have styrofoam coolers or we, you know, anything, all the different things that we use. You have to bring all the components together. Right. So many people reaged out and, you know, all we right. were able to make so many new connections and, and that's, that's still ongoing, you know, 
people are still coming coming to the shop or giving us a call and saying, you know, we, we really want to help you with this. We really want to help you. So it accelerated you. your business development. Right. And also give you a greater sense of what? Connectivity with the people in the Omaha community? Is, exactly. that, is that what you're yes. trying to say? Yes. Uh -huh. If you were to do a class right now for these folks, a business development class, what's the one thing, if you had five minutes to, to, to tell them one thing about their careers and, 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 and especially startups, what would you say? I think I would say some of the same things that we've heard today, which which is you know get a focus and and you have to just really work hard hard at it and keep going. We've been at it for five years and you know it's it's there's been a lot of ups and downs, but if you know that you're on the right track, you're, you'll get there. You'll get there. It'll it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. Keeps the, it's kind of like keep the faith a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's easier said than done. All right, I'm going to dive into your product here. We have an incredible array and what do we have here we actually have this is part of your part of your uh, service offering this is value added this is a personalized ice cream wow biz mix right here what do you think about that not every day so i'm going to take thank you so much i'm going to take a bite of this and a bite of the chocolate tell me just give me three or four facts about the product r briefly our specialty is customized ice cream. So you go to our website and in four easy steps you design your own flavor. Whether it's an ice cream, a mm. gelato, 40 flavors, mm. mix-ins, and actually we name it and we ship it as far as Hawaii. So it's, it's a personalized gift with an e-commerce twist that you can actually taste. Wonderful. Why don't you why don't you elaborate? I'm trying the Cubanero. Okay, the Cubanero. It looks very exotic and, and I, I love dark exotic things like this. And you say it's a little spicy? Yeah, it's very spicy. Be careful. Okay, all right, all right. Well, you know, I'm a jalapeno guy. I like that. Oh, well, good. This is habanero, but it's uh, it, it's going to get you a little kick in the end there. Mm. <laughs> so it's a sweet and, oh, now it's coming on. We Woo. made this for Mark Cuban. And when we gave this to Mark Cuban, uh, since we told him it was called the Cubanero, he got very excited. This is so me. Right. So um, it, we speak to the personality of the recipient. You know, if, if you're into marketing, branding, advertising, or sales, take a lesson from uh, from these young ladies it's the ability to link your product to their personal identity who they think they are and, and and find that match and not try to change them but make your product link directly to their personal uh, image thank you so much you did a great job nice. we are so thrilled to have you here thanks very much ladies and gentlemen wild biz weekly we got one more segment coming up great job today and make sure that you check out wild biz tv all kinds of interesting things learn about the people that come into our offices today we'll see you soon see you at the next taping thanks again thank you very much